All right, now All right, we're guys, gonna do now we're problem gonna do twelve, 12 dash three dash from one dynamics from uh, particle dynamics. travels along a straight Initially, line with a velocity the car of uh, v travels along a straight road with a speed of thirty five meters square per meters per second. The brakes are applied and the speed of the car is reduced to ten meters per second. The position of the particle when t was constant is and they're giving you some initial conditions right here. Which say that the First position is zero. We got, when t we got zero. the so starting velocity. I always like to write down what we're giving in the left. Thirty-five. So we're giving meters v per second is equal to we got four t finishing velocity, minus which is t square ten meters per and second. We are trying to we find the time, which is fifteen seconds. Now the formula we're going to use equals v equals now v the initial conditions a times t initial can get conditions at the are end of the book on s or equals any formula zero sheet when t equals zero. now all we gotta Usually do is when they give you values. initial conditions is you should is giving you a hint not is that the problem is gonna involve either a derivative is what or we're looking for usually an integral so and t is 15. we know that so a is gonna come out to be equal to the integral of velocity 10 minus over time, 35 right? over so we're given the 15, velocity so what we got to do is we got to integrate which comes v. out to be negative and five we know that the integral three, of 40 or minus 3 t square point six six seven meters per which second comes out to square two t and square that minus your solution t cube plus c but we know that c is zero because the initial conditions say that when t equals zero, s equals zero. So s comes out to be two t squared minus t cube. Now all you gotta do is plug in the value of four into our new position equation which is s so we get 4 square minus 4 cube and that comes out to be negative 32 that's the position of the particle when t equals 4 and that's our final answer